do see him tonight will probably be a cameo appearance in the closing stages of the game, as it was against Manchester United in the European Super Cup in midweek. And Barcelona him ringing around the camp now. There is no such thing as a pre-season friendly anymore. And both managers acknowledging that this is a chance for the first silverware of the season. And Esta Valverde will be desperate to get off to a good start with his new team, replacing Luis Enrique at the back end of May. From the start since last February, Sergio Roberto is on the bench. Referee tonight, one of the younger referees in Spain, Senor Tiberco Spengelcher. Well, there was a time when Real Madrid were signing the Galacticos. He has made some recruits this summer, but they tend to be players to bolster the squad. It's a very strong starting 11. Ronaldo is rested this evening. Isco will be taking his place alongside Benzema and Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale, of course, didn't start the last nine games of last season. Drawn against Manchester United, beaten by Manchester City, losing against Barcelona, even drew against the MLS All-Stars, but tonight they're hoping to peak. Competition, didn't he, initially when he joins Real Madrid from Gonzalo Higuain. That's a great ball over the top, nice take by Suarez! And he warms the hands of Kaelin Alas. His team have given away cheap possession, there we see a fantastic run, fantastic understanding and awareness from Iniesta. Tony Kroos, Esco, has options, Kroos is with him, Esco with the dancing feet! And went for the deceit. He's going again with the skill. And just gets free in the effects of that challenge from Casemiro. And Fidel, the right back. Previously a right winger when he was at Sevilla. For most players on the planet, you'd say an impossible angle. But it's Messi standing over the ball. He goes for it, he almost gets it. You could see Navas half expecting something like that. He was just over the crossbar. Didn't really ever look as if it was going to get. Isco. But he stands off it, gives Isco space. Oh, it's a great save from Tushtegan. Pure reflex after Gareth Bell whisked it in. It's a snapshot from Gareth Bell. And Isco causing all sorts of problems. Now backing into his own penalty area, not giving too much help from any of his teammates. Isco. Now Marcelo. Oh. PK! Never out of the headline to the Classico, but it's a negative headline for Gerard PK. Something he never wanted to do, and that is score for Real Madrid. It was good decisive attacking play from Real Madrid. Both teams have had success with getting players into positions around the byline. Of course, no surprise to see Marcelo getting into that position. Nice pass from Isco. Just times the pass well. Isco takes it. The touch and places it into the path of Marcelo. And he knows if he hits it across in that position of the six-yard box with a bit of power. It's going to cause the defenders all sorts of problems, and that's exactly what happens. <laughs> The pleasure caresses the ball to Rakitic flying down the right hand side is Vidal. Carvajal steps over it, chance for Delafeo. Oh, and it was one footstep away from Lionel Messi. A good reaction from Barcelona to go in a goal behind. Stop the pace in terms of tempo in attack. Vidal with the first cross initially to try and find Messi. Delefeu again. Well, that's the moment he dreamed about all of his life, Gerard Delefeu, the Barcelona supporter. So much space. Bends him up. Draws PK, puts it across. Carvajal! How did that not go in? He's going to get more opportunities. This was a really good opportunity. Does Benzema waste the opportunity, though, by, again, not getting his head up and picking out a teammate? Eventually, he finds the, the, the route to Carvajal. It was quite a remarkable clearance from Jordi Alba who's left it 
Whisked away. Suarez! A necessary touch from Kayla Navas. It's unrealistic, isn't it, to expect De La Feu to be the replacement for Neymar? So the delivery to the far post. Oh, the whole complaining that he's pushed by Luis Suarez. Invest to appease the supporters. Gareth Bale's cross! <laughs> he knew exactly what picture he wanted to see on the front page of the Sports Dailies tomorrow, Cristiano Ronaldo. It would have been typical, wouldn't it? The overhead, scissors kick. He didn't want to tap him. The bicycle kick from Ronaldo. Ronaldo, brilliant ball. Marcelo joins in the party. Ter Stegen standing strong. Becoming far more entertaining as the superstar's legs are tiring. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo's offside. All the celebrations, Cristiano. Not a massive process, but he's interesting for him as to whether he. So close, isn't it? Where's the steal? Where is the ball? When is it played forward? Standing in an offside position. And Titi drops deeper. Messi. Oh, it's knocks the head of Varane. And he's Suarez stands his ground. He's got a chance. Oh, Busquets. The goal was open. And he's wishing that the ground would open up. Keeper had slipped, nobody there to stop him. And he squanders the opportunity to equalise. It's the defensive midfield player. Easy for Marcelo. There's a sly handball there by Rakitic, not seen by the referee. Messi! Brilliant save, brilliant second save from Kayla Navas. Oh, that would have been a controversial moment. This is Luis Suarez looking for Lionel Messi. Messi tries to go through the legs, Luis Suarez is there. And the referee has a big decision to make as there's a collision between Kayla Navas and Suarez. And the delegation of Real Madrid is falling on the deaf ears of Senor Bengoche. In years to come, then look to a man in the stand to make this decision. The referee has to go with his instincts and what his assistant, who's blinded on the far side, tells him. Did Suarez ride that? Was he anticipating it? The well, Suarez gets the first touch. He's anticipating the contact. He's on his way down. I think there is contact from Kalon Navas. Throws himself full length. Suarez gets the first touch. He does catch his ankle. He leaves his leg at the angle where it, it, if Navas is going to touch it, it's going to bring him down. Lionel Messi in the classic home extends his record of scoring in this magical fixture. Messi on the spot. 1 1. And Messi off the mark for the season. Well, he makes no mistake, does he? It hasn't always been the case with Messi from the penalty spot. He seems to be improving. Much. Little step over. Rakitic joins him. Brilliant tackle from Danny Cavajal. Here's Hisco. As Cristiano Ronaldo still got the legs. Yes, look at him fly. Moves inside, Ronaldo! <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo! He's in good shape. That's typical, absolutely brilliant. Turning defence into attack, Real Madrid, in the blink of an eye. And you wonder whether Ronaldo still had the pace to get away from Gerard Piquet. He did. And he's just waiting. <laughs> you know exactly what he's going to do. Takes the touch, here we see Barcelona in the attack. Rakitic misses the chance to take on the shot. And immediately Real Madrid break. Ronaldo into his guard, return pass. And from here, 
It's a clear sight and goal for Ronaldo, is it? Cuts inside on his right foot. The power, the accuracy, right into the top corner to Stegen at full length. What did you say? Three days, four days training? He certainly doesn't need any work on his finishing. In 30 minutes he was given tonight by Zidane. Ten minutes longer than against Manchester United. And it hasn't taken him long to get on the sheet. A lot of hype about transfers in the summer. This is a game that needs no hype. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. He goes nose to turf. He's got a penalty. Oh, no. <laughs> he thought he had a penalty. Behind you, Cristiano. He was booked for taking his shirt off. And now he's been booked in the eyes of the referee for taking a dive. And then we do see a, a quite significant push by Ronaldo on the referee. It's been action-packed, hasn't it? OK, on with 60 minutes gone. A bit of everything from Ronaldo. Well, two yellow cards and the goal. He thought he'd won the penalty. He turned around and Titi certainly made a contact with him. Ronaldo's legs gave way. He may argue in his defence that his momentum took him over. Well, he will argue in his defence. I think there's sufficient contact there from Antiti. It doesn't make any contact with the ball. Now to his goal side of the Barcelona defender. There's a push on the back. Then you see the push. Messi steps over. Suarez tries to go through Carvajal. Dogged defending by... Vasquez, Vasquez has support from Asensio, I mean, not quite the dynamic run of Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, but he gets the finish of Ronaldo! Well, last season, a star was born in Asensio, and this young man is something special. A classico goal for Marco Asensio. Only 21 years of age. Take a note of that name, you're going to hear a lot of it in the next decade or so. He's almost demanding now that Zidane includes him in the starting 11. He is that good. 21 years of age, getting better and better. And at this moment in time, you, he, he deserves to be up amongst the elite. He's not a youngster looking to get minutes and play here and there. He has the quality, the ability to be truly world class. It's a fantastic strike. It's a very similar run and a very similar finish, OK, with the other foot, to Cristiano Ronaldo. And again, he's a bright player. He pulls off, peels off into the space. He knows the Barcelona committing players into attack. After 49 minutes, Suarez. Out by Carvajal. Victory complete on the night for Real Madrid. But it all goes back to the Bernabeu on Wednesday. A losing start for Valverde. First Barcelona coach to lose his first official game since Luis Aragonés a couple of decades ago. Lionel Messi on the score sheet, but not a winner tonight. He was outshone by Cristiano Ronaldo's goal, then Ronaldo getting dismissed. In the end, it was Asensio scored a cracking goal as well. Nothing friendly about this game tonight. Defeat and disappointment for Barcelona.